please welcome a volunteer from the early days of, of the Friendship Circle and the grandson of tonight's honoree. Please welcome Matthew Chisling. It's a very tough act to follow, but I'll give it a shot. When I was 13 years old, I found myself volunteering with what was then a small yet powerful organization known as the Friendship Circle. After one year of being a volunteer there, I gave a speech at a gala just like this one, and now, eight years later, I'm proud to stand back up here to share a little more of my story. I worked at the Friendship Circle for nearly three years, but the value I gained from that experience has lasted far beyond the short period of time in those three years. When I started working with the Friendship Circle, I was confident yet naive and unaware of the value of helping others. I learned from my experiences that even spending a short period of time with a child impacts both, the, both of our lives in the most exponential of ways. While I'd like to think that Daniel and Natush, the two boys that I volunteered with while working there, learned a lot from me, it's safe to say that I learned more from them. Tonight, I'm happy to stand as an ambassador of the Friendship Circle at this event precisely because of one of the honorees, Joan Chisling. Joan, or my Nana, was a tremendous influence in my life growing up. She taught me my passion of reading, of theater, and ultimately of helping others. It gave her such pleasure to know that her grandchildren were taking the time to help children with needs other than their own. And both my, myself and my brother and sister were involved in organizations like this one. And Joan was always so proud. She's the honoree of this evening precisely because even until the day she passed away last year, she cared so much about initiatives just like this one and saw this as the ultimate way to give back to your community. The values that Joan espoused were in line with the Friendship Circle. During her final weeks in the hospital, she developed a unique bond with Seema and the Friendship Circle community. Joan and Seema promised that after she left the hospital, they would get together to bring even more joy and nachas to the Friendship Circle. And I'm back nearly eight years later so that I could fulfill my grandmother's wishes. So for that, thank you. And we have a very nice award to honor them that we'd like to pass on. So thank you very much. Maybe you can read what it says into the mic. A dear friend, forever cherished, Joan Chisling. Her legacy lives on at the Friendship Circle, enriching the lives of children with special needs. Thank you very much. Thank you.